Shamai, hello, Siddiqui, how are you? It's, this is my last video for the mini diad of Learn Cymru Pembrokeshire with Purest Radio. And in the space of nine minutes, it's all over. That's, that's all it takes to do the oral examination. Now remember, we didn't do the written examination because of uh, COVID. We couldn't go to an assessment hall. We couldn't do the exam. So we're being assessed on our on our speaking ability, our shadad kamraig. And I've done it. I've At the time of recording that, I don't know how I did, but Gaina, my examiner, was very pleasant, very lovely. Uh, we tried having a little bit of chit-chat and Marsh before we started. And uh, she said Mindam Dro, which means go for a walk. And I was like, in this weather, my heen bodu glau. And she was like, no, no, it'll be a walk in the park. At least I knew that she was referring to a walk <laughs> and she mentioned a park. Never mind, never mind. But it's done. All of the uh, different aspects of the examination we, of course, went through. They threw in two things which I wasn't sure of. One of them was uh, dim bead, which means that they did nothing. There's one particular question. So, well, let's do this in order. Part one is a dialogue. I quite like how well I can read and Angani pronounce Welsh. So I was confident with that. And I'm glad that that's first because it kind of settles your mind a little bit because it's there. They put, put it on screen share on the Zoom so I could so I could read it. Um, and that's good to settle the nerves. It's like, oh, after my Mindam, Mindam Draw in a Park uh, foo bar. And you get to read it and that's fine. And the next slide is they ask us questions. And it felt like she was going through every single one of them. I've forgotten how many they ask us. And then they ask follow-up questions as well. And they're, they're not written down. The gainer, the examiner, just does it from their little crib sheet. They don't show up on the screen. So you can't read it. So you can't, uh, you also can't, you know, with like language, you can use a bit of the question in your answer. When when you can't see it, you can't do that. So you're going off, off your memory. Um... But I was pleasantly surprised with with how that went as well. So really pleased. And then the third part, they tried catching us out, which can happen. And Bidig did warn us that sometimes they say dim bead, which means nothing. So that's what happened to Gwyn, his name was, I think. And it said dim bead for what he did last night. Now, the main thing they're looking for is, do you know the tense? And I know that it was, uh, I, th eh, he did, or he went, or something. And, um, but I've forgotten the proper way to answer the question, or I think I have. I haven't even bothered looking it up, because it's done now. It's done and dusted. I will find out, because I will want to know in real life conversation. Because we don't do these lessons to learn how to pass exams. We're doing these lessons to learn how to increase our shadow camaraderie. Uh, in public. So that's why I'm, so I'm going to find out. But dim bead means nothing. So I went with, I said dim bead. He went nowhere or he went nothing. <sighs> oh, sounds ugly, doesn't it? Uh, but then I went, um, uh, um, lackio. So like to make it known that I knew what dim bead was, I threw in um, lackio. And what I should have done, now that I'm thinking about it and talking to you out loud, is um, lackio. Uh, no, I'm like, I'm like you're there. It'll be something along those lines. That's another thing that I'm going to double check on because I'll <laughs> reflecting on an exam is a terrible, terrible thing to do. But I'm doing this for you and also for the outpouring of uh, affection and adoration that I have for Bidig and Richard, which is coming up. Uh, but the last section after we go through those different pictures, oh, also the picture for Gwyn. He was a builder. I've forgotten what builder is, despite my brother being one. So I said, um, so I couldn't go with builder you air. He's a builder. I had to do the long-winded answer, which was my own Gwaithio Vel. And then I went, just shrugged at here and said mechanic. <laughs> he was definitely laying bricks, though. But it's fine, because... At least I answered the question correctly. I got the structure. It was my vocabulary that let me down, which is always my biggest gripe with learning a language. 
Uh, but never mind. So that's something else which I also need to find out. If you know it, you can put it in the comments. <laughs> Let me know there. And then the last question, the last part of the exam is you have given five words and you have to ask a question of the examiner for each one. And I'm pleasantly surprised with how well I did there as well. So a bit of revision last night, a bit of a read through this morning. It has taken up a lot of my time and energy just thinking, oh, I need to get ready, I need to get ready. But on the grand scheme of things, it's actually been okay. It's actually been all right. Uh, I'm pleased and I'm proud and wouldn't, wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for A, Pure West Radio. So thank you very much. Learn Common Eye Pembrokeshire, thank you very much. In particular to Tomos in the first instance. And also, oh, Tomos, you can catch on Gwalada Garn uh, on Pure West Radio, a Welsh language uh, show for uh, for beginners, for Menediad, uh, entry level Welsh. So you can tune in with that and you can catch up with the podcast as well. And my biggest adoration for Bidig, Richard, and also the, the classmates. So, of course, we started this journey with Abs, who was the co-host co of uh, Early Breakfast with me. That's my sister. And there's also been Sue, and there's been Pippa, and Mary, and Lindsay, and Irene, and Tony, Caroline, Mary, and Pippa. We've all been on this journey together, um, completely on the wake of Bidig's uh, enthusiasm and Richard's enthusiasm and their varying techniques, different personalities on how they convey their lessons. And it's all been done via Zoom, no classroom at all for this study group. And we've been meeting up twice a week, two hours at a time. So that's four hours a week. So it has been a big commitment, but we've done two years in one. And here we are taking an, an entry level exam and with confidence and assurance from both Bidig and Richard, that we could easily progress into Sil Sylvine, which is a fantastic achievement. And as Tony said in his last message, because we've got a little WhatsApp, um, when you consider where we were last September, where I was relying on my, my primary school, Welsh pr pr predominantly, um, it's amazing how far we've come. We can talk in different tenses. We can talk about different people in the third person. We could talk about what they did in the past, what they did in the future. We know three different types of mutations and we don't necessarily even have to search like long and hard for what we need to say. We know, we know where it is, um, which is like, it's, it's amazing. It's so fantastic. And that's without the usual resources that both Bithig and Richard use in their classroom. So credit to them and to everyone at Learn Camaro Pembrokeshire who've all had to adapt over the last 15 months and a, a wonderful, incredible journey. Um, we, if you go back to our first video, we talk about why we wanted to do it. We wanted to feel like connection with the country. We wanted to, to learn about the heritage. And Bithig in particular always brings in extra little bits and pieces of local knowledge and um, like Christmas traditions and what happens at Pask Capis and Easter. And it, it's been fantastic. It's been a real learning experience. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. If you are on the fence about going for it, the in fact when when you see this video the applications or the openings for the courses coming up in september will probably be live now last year they did a discount they may or may not be doing it this year but sign up if, if you can and you've got the time and you've got the resources to do it sign up i don't think you'll regret it because it's so so great and you'll learn something and you'll learn a new language which is so good for your brain anyway and if you have any questions or any hesitations then get in touch. You can comment on this. You can drop me a, 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 a DM, a POS Radio or at Hello Tom Dyer, and I'll be, I'd happily answer any questions that you may have and what you think some of the pitfalls might be for you. And we'll, we'll do our best to get you through it because they managed to get us through this course. It's fantastic. So Hoyle Vowed for now, but who knows what might happen come September. That's all I'm going to say for now. We'll, we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, tune in to Gwalada Garn if you're missing out on this Welsh language vlog uh, that, that is weekly. There's over 30 episodes of this on our YouTube channel. Uh, so go have a look. Uh, all in a nice playlist for you. Then be sure to catch up with Tomos on Gwalada Garn on Pure West Radio. Hoyle